I'm Jeff here with SparkFun, and today we're going to take a look at the new Pi Top 3. I don't think this is going to work. That's, that's not going to work. <laughs> so let's take a look at what comes in the box with this new Pi Top 3. RTFM. We want to read the instruction manual. There's some assembly required with this unit. The departure from the Pi Top 2 and the early Pi Tops is the sliding keyboard. The Pi Top 3 is running on the brand new Pi Top 3 B Plus. It's included wireless, the fastest, most recent Raspberry Pi chip. Uh, so I've used this over the last six months and noticed a significant upgrade in the performance from the earlier Pi Tops. So when we open the new Pi Top 3 up, what happens is this connector bridge comes off. We take off that screw and it mounts to the pins and this sits under the connector bridge uh, and opens up the USB ports and the LAN connection at the back of here. Included also with this is this nifty integrated breadboard connector, which magnetically mounts to the rails and pushes in to a fitting on the power management board. This allows you to prototype right in the keyboard well. The manual also outlines a whole experimentation guide for building simple circuits. There are buttons, jumper wires, LEDs, a host of parts come with this along with a host of instructions for building circuits and doing physical computing with the Raspberry Pi. And as in previous versions of the Raspberry Pi, pin support is native to the Python image and the Scratch image. Of particular note for this version of the Raspberry Pi is the inclusion in the experiment guide of potentiometers. And built into the prototyping breadboard is an analog to digital converter, which has been conspicuously absent on all previous versions of Pi Tops and the Raspberry Pi. Handy dandy ultrasonic sensor, and there is native support in the GPIO Zero library for Python that's included with the Raspberry Pi image. So where else in the world can you get a neon key lime green laptop? You can get it from Pi Top 3.